When your father is the leader of an entire nation, you might expect only wealth and privilege. But for the daughter of one former president slash dictator, life has taken a very unexpected turn that's led to the streets of Fort Lauderdale at the age of 81. Investigative reporter Bob Norman has the story you'll only see on Local 10. If you stop to see the homeless people in Stranahan Park, you might notice this 81-year-old woman standing in the shadows. Oh, it's a long story. Her name is Carmela Batista, and she lives on the streets with her daughter Anna and their cat Felina. I always said I have a perfect life. That's what here now is like a shock. The way my mom describes it, it is like a living hell without flames. How do you manage to sleep on the hard well, concrete? Can you imagine? Sometimes I cry. It's hard. Carmela's picture book offers glimpses of their former life, photos of her from decades ago. One next to Fulgencio Batista, the former leader of Cuba, that's inscribed by him with the word besos, kisses. The former president of Cuba, Fulgencio Batista. That was my daddy. It's true, Carmela's mother had a romance with the married Cuban leader in 1934, and while he didn't raise her, she said Batista regularly visited her and made sure she was taken care of. He was stern. Was well, he, he like was, that as a father? No. He was a strong man. No, he was a strong man, but he was, a, like I said, a friend. When I always see him, he was like a, my best friend. In 1940, when Carmela was five, her father was elected president of Cuba and served a four-year term. Strong man General Batista had overthrown the Constitution. Then in 1952, he returned to power with a military coup. Some regard her father's reign as the island nation's heyday, and others see it as a corrupt mafia-tied regime. Carmela defends her father and said she paid little attention to Fidel Castro until December 30th, 1958, when one of her father's assistants called her on the phone. Told me, um, your father said that you didn't see snow before. You would like to see it? I said, yes. She was flown that day to New York City. The very next day, New Year's, she learned her father had fled Cuba. Cuba's Fidel Castro emerged triumphant. The revolution led to the destruction of all things linked to Batista. Carmela was told she and Batista's eight other children from two marriages narrowly escaped death. Castro had a satanic idea to put all the kids and the, his wife and all of, all, all of them in a wall and brrr, and kill. Batista called Carmela and asked where she wanted to live. And I said, Carmela, where do you want to go? For Lauderdale. You said for Lauderdale? Yes, for Lauderdale. I love it because it's like a, a Venice of America. When her father died in 1973, she bought this home in upscale Coral Ridge in a condo on Gold Ocean Mile with the inheritance. That's me with my two doggies. She adopted Anna at age 53. If I did something good in life, this is my reward. She was my mama and my papa together. Two pages, you have to Carmela sent Anna to top private schools, where Anna says she was excused from class when they taught about her grandfather. Because they talk bad about him. They're calling him the dictator. Then came the Great Recession. I lost my money with the uh, stock market. She took out a mortgage on her house and soon couldn't make the payments. The money went away. Too much. They couldn't even afford to pay the water bill on the house, leading to a lien from the city of Fort Lauderdale. Then came foreclosure and a short sale of the house in 2015. Carmel and Anna were then destitute. It must be a dream, but it's not, it's reality. Nobody would imagine that you would be here. No. I'm going to be a little bit traumatized after I leave this place. It's like a, God wants me to teach me something. Next time, it won't happen. It's a hard lesson, but you learn it. In Fort Lauderdale, Bob Norman, Local 10 News. And Bob tells us that Carmela and Anna do have hope of getting out of the park. Anna's been promised a job in Orlando, but they have no funds to get there. They've set up a fund at youcaring.com for those who might like to help. You can just enter the search word, Batista. What a riveting human story and a history lesson there. And it just goes to show you that anyone could eventually find themselves on the path to homelessness. Yep, so many people, one paycheck away.